Hello and welcome to today's video. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm still sick. Uh, so excuse any uh, sniffling and or coughing that may occur. <laughs> so I figured I'd just do like a quick little uh, NLG5 video. Um, this is an NLG513 uh, battery charger uh, that I've had for a while. Serial number 6321. And um, its output is 520 volts max at 12.5 amps max and uh, this is like designed for about around you know a 360 volt nominal battery pack uh, which is too high a voltage for my truck which is unfortunate like I said I had this for a while I've always wanted to see if it could be converted to an NLG 511 battery charger which is this guy this is an older um, actually it's actually pretty old uh, NLG 511 uh, serial number 445 and you can see its output is max 260 volts at 25 amps which happens to be exactly half of this guy 520 12.5 so <clears throat> I always guessed my guess was that um, if I could get a uh, 511 and see how they wired it I might be able to rewire my 513 to be the same thing and one of the reasons I thought this is this is the front control panel and if you take it off it's got these weird little connectors here little spade connectors that go into it and you can see that these two are in parallel and uh, I figured wow maybe they use this front panel like this unit is identical in every one of them and then by plugging in the front unit here they can configure what type it is which would be really nice. Like if I designed it, that's that's how I would do it. But uh, you know, because it lets them hook up the connectors and CAN bus, it gets everything the way they want it, right? So I was really excited when I got this one, and I took its front panel off, and it is the exact same board. Um, I was really hoping, like you know, like all of these would be in parallel instead, which would uh, you know double the current, half the voltage. And then these guys would be in series, which would uh, double the voltage and half the current. Uh, I think I got that backwards, but versus these guys being in, in parallel, which would uh, half the voltage from this one, double the current. And this would be, you know what I mean, but uh, essentially, like they would re rewire the transformer based on this. But these boards are 100% identical. Um, both of them were made in 2002. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they were both made in uh, January 10th of 2002, so they're identical. So they're not doing anything amazing in there. So I was like, oh shoot, that would that would have been too easy. Um, so the next thing I did is like, well, let's open it up. We'll just, we'll just uh, pop the cover off of these puppies and see if we notice anything really obviously different. Um... So yeah, I took the covers off. Uh, I was looking. This is the uh, uh, 513 charger, and it looks like they do it in the transformer. They actually have two physically different transformers. Because if we go over here, a few more wires coming out. So it looks like the primaries are driven uh, the same, and then they have an extra set of secondaries that gets connected in parallel. Because if you look. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cables coming out of this guy. Oh, seven, eight. If you count those ones down there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then my guess is this is probably um, either a temperature probe or um, secondary uh, coil used for monitoring something. If we come over here, we see only four outputs. So there's one there, one there one there and one there and then of course the same two connectors primary is identical um, so yeah unfortunately they um, they do it in the transformer so my uh, my goal of converting this guy from a 513 to a 511 <coughs> it doesn't look like it's gonna happen uh, without you know, swapping out the transformer and doing something crazy. So, if anybody's interested in trading 
a uh, brand new, never been used, but it has been opened, uh, 513, NLG 513, for an NLG 511. Uh, let me know. I'm, I'm interested. Uh, this is 3.3. The, the main reason I'm interested in is if you look at how tall, this thing is like super shallow. Like this square right here is the same footprint as my NLG 411 battery charger. So the fourth gen, this is a fifth gen, and essentially I can stack. So my other one's 3.3 kilowatts. This one's 3.3 kilowatts. I can stack a second one on top of it and be at 6.6 .6 kilowatts, which works with the um, J1772 port that I've got. Uh, it's, a, it's for a 7.2 kilowatt port uh, for level two charging. <clears throat> so I can essentially charge in twice the same, and the battery charger takes up pretty much the same exact space in the truck. Um, that'll be really useful, so that's my goal. I'll probably get this one up and running and use it um, just because it's got CAN bus already and I can control this over CAN, whereas the um, 411 NLG4 doesn't have CAN bus on it and I'd have to add, I'd have to design and make a board to get it onto the CAN bus. Um, whereas this guy, I can set it up to talk to the BMS because I can send a, a CAN packet to this guy to tell it to shut down when the BMS sees the um, uh, individual cell voltage rises above a certain point it can shut down the charger. <clears throat> so that's the goal anyway. Yeah, I was really disappointed that um, they do it in the transfer. I was hoping they had would have like, you know, two transformers and then how they wire this up would set it, you know, how uh, set it all up the voltage range. Because they have four different versions of this and I figured they just have it in, you know, all of them in parallel, uh, par two groups in parallel and then series or, uh, two series groups in parallel or the whole thing in series for the different voltage ranges for the four different chargers but um it doesn't look like that's what they do they they do it in the winding of the transformer so there's probably some other differences in here like um voltage reference and sense points and things like that <coughs> probably optimized for um different ranges and things um because you know you wouldn't want to have the same voltage reference that runs for you know 500 volts versus like 250 volts because uh, you lose half your range um, but just uh, I guess I could do a quick little <clears throat> overview that this is obviously their main microcontroller they got some flash for it um, uh, this says this LED is marked can so I'm gonna guess one of these guys is a can transceiver um, isolated um, there's uh, some other LEDs up here. This is the 5 volt rail uh, clock. All this is I.O. protection out to the front panel. Uh, I got some power supplies. Looks like we got some switch mode supply here. Another little switch mode supply there. All these are isolators um, and these are planar transformers. Uh, there's a couple of them on here to develop isolated supplies and stuff uh, or low voltage supplies to run different components gate drivers and things like that. You see how this is isolated. Um, you can kind of see this is an isolator too so you can see their little plane separation as it goes across all of this. Uh, so those probably go down to here which are the um, probably the MOSFET or IGBT drivers are down on that other board that's underneath there. Uh, everything else is this filtering bypass and um, there's a got a uh, <clears throat> MOV and a um, the fuse so if you uh, hit by lightning or something MOV will conduct um, other than that it's pretty straightforward if you look down inside there there's this like I think there's an entire board of capacitors underneath there <coughs> but um, yeah it's kind of interesting uh, internally they look identical. The only thing that I see that they added is uh, this guy might uh, rattle a little bit. They've they've added a little bit of foam underneath there um, and they've glued down all of the ferrite for their planar transformers where they didn't do that on there so they could they probably hum a little bit but uh, it's probably not too bad. Um, yeah that's that's pretty much it. There's yeah, really unfortunate. Not not going to be easy to switch over, but uh, anyways, 
Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.